Hi everyone, my name is Megan and this is Claire and today we're going to be doing uh, a Pilates class uh, targeted more towards people doing some a lot of work at home, at the desk and that sort of thing. Some things that you might need for this class are um, a rolled up towel or a pillow just for some position changes um, or a mat or a, a towel to be lying on at home or the floor if you're comfortable with that. If you have any niggly wrists or shoulders, it might be best to grab a chair because um, we'll go through some position changes you can use with the chair later in the video. So let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to start in standing. So Claire is going to start off by lifting the left arm up in front of you and stopping at the top towards the roof and coming down by your side. Coming out in front and then to the right. That's it. And then up in front with the left and out to the right. Getting lots of movement happening in those shoulders and the upper back. And you should feel a little bit of a stretch with the arms and through the upper back and the shoulder blades as you're doing this movement. Perfect. Make sure to keep your weight nice and even on both feet. And we're here for another 10. exercise we're going to be coming straight up in front and taking it behind you in a nice big circle and following with your eyes trying to keep your posture balanced on your left and right legs make sure you're nice and even shoulders a bit and had a bit of a stretch we're going to move into another position on the floor now. Okay so for the next series of exercises we're going to start off in a seated position. So you have a few different choices for different positions in sitting. So at the moment Claire's in a cross-legged position. Um, if you're not quite comfortable in this position we can sit up onto a pillow and that just opens up your hips a little bit more. If you don't have a pillow that you can sit on you can just roll up a towel um, and try that as well. Some other options include extending the legs out straight in front of you if that's a bit more comfortable or bending um, your knees up a bit more and opening out the hips in that way. So continuing on here, we're going to start off just doing some rotations with the head so we call these nose spirals. So with your nose moving your head to make a figure eight symbol just to get some nice rotation through the neck. You want to try and keep yourself in a nice, um, even position, making sure it's just the nose that's painting that figure eight symbol. Beautiful. We'll do a few more of those. Okay, and stopping there. Now we're going to move on to doing some shoulder rolls. So starting off, Claire's going to bring her shoulders forward, rotating them up and then bringing them back down and squeezing the shoulder blades together at the back and continuing that movement, making nice big circles with the shoulders. Very good, we'll do another 10. So Nine. moving in that nice big circle. Eight. The shoulder. Seven. Now we're going to go the other way with the shoulders. So bringing, squeezing the shoulder blades together first, lifting the shoulders up and falling them forwards. Beautiful. Nice and 
nice big movements again with those shoulders. Trying to make those circles as big as you can manage. Perfect, so 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and relaxing there. Okay, so the next uh, exercise we're gonna do is a neck stretch. So Claire's gonna take her head with her right hand and tilt her head towards her right hip. And you should feel a stretch along the back of the neck um, on the left side. And we're gonna hold there for a few more seconds. Three, two, one. And then releasing the stretch and moving and doing the other side. So looking towards the left hip and feeling that stretch along the right side of the neck. You, should, you just want to feel a comfortable stretch in this position. Um, make sure that you're not overstretching the joint. So just, you want to be able to hold it for a comfortable um, position. So you can feel the stretch, but you're not receiving too much pain. And that's a perfect amount of time there. Okay, our next movement, we're going to do some retractions of our shoulder blades. So Claire's going to squeeze her shoulder blades together at the back and hold, two, one, and relax. And then moving the shoulder blades back together again. Three, two, one, and relax. We'll repeat, repeat that exercise a few more times. And you wanna aim to try and feel the bottom of your shoulder blades um, pulling back together and making sure that the shoulders are down and back and not sitting up around your ears. So you can see there's a lot of space between Claire's ears and her shoulders, making sure the bottoms of the shoulder blades are retracting. Beautiful. And we'll do another three squeezes. And one. Finishing off there and shaking about. All right, now our next movement is going to be a bit more of a rotation movement through the back. So Claire's going to take her hands behind her and stretching through her back. So there's getting a nice stretch along here. Beautiful. Holding for three, two, one, and coming back to the middle. And then doing that stretch one more time. So she's going to get a nice stretch through the back. Holding for three, two, one, and back to the middle. Okay, for our final movement, we're gonna do a side stretch. So Claire's gonna take her left hand up, using her right hand to brace herself on the floor, and bringing over her head and getting a nice stretch through the left side of the spine there. Holding for three, two, one, and then coming back up to the middle and then rotating the sides. Getting a nice stretch through the right side of the back. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, and then coming back to the middle. Okay, so for this next position, we call this position a four point kneel. There's a few different options you can use um, depending on what's comfortable for you. Uh, at the moment, this is the typical position we normally have people start in. So Claire's got her hips directly over her knees and her shoulders directly over her wrists. The next position, if this is a bit uncomfortable on your wrists that you can go into, um, you can move into more of a um, fist position. So shoulders are still over the wrists, but you've got your wrists in a neutral position in that fist um, form there. The next position we can move into is onto the forearms. So again, we've still got hips over knees and shoulders over elbows but it just offloads the pressure that's going through the wrist. And for people who aren't comfortable on the floor, uh, we can move up to being on the chair as well and leaning onto a chair or a couch at home, whatever's comfortable, but making sure we've still got hips over knees and shoulders um, over elbows as much as you can manage depending on the height of the chair that you've got. The other option that we can use is popping a pillow under the knees as well if anyone's uncomfortable kneeling. 
that can just help help offload the pressure um, going through the knees and might make it a bit more comfortable. And you can use this for any of those different positions we've just gone through as well. Okay, so for this series of exercises, um, we're gonna be in the four point kneel position. As you can see, Claire has her hips over her knees and shoulders over her wrists. So starting off, we're going to um, let the spine sink down we call this a cow position and we're going to then move so that the spine is curved as much as it can go into what we call a cat position. So this exercise is a cat cow stretch and Claire's going to move in and out of each movement holding for about three seconds and then moving down. Beautiful. So you can see that the pelvis is also moving and all parts of the spine are moving to get that curve down and curve up. So making sure you're thinking about trying to keep everything moving and not just using one part of your spine to achieve this movement. Beautiful, so we have another five, And then we're going to find a nice neutral spine after doing that exercise. So Claire's just going to move up and about and find a neutral curve that's comfortable to hold. And for the next exercise, we're going to go onto one hand. So Claire's going to lift her left hand up into the air, stretching up nice and tall, and then bringing the left arm underneath the right arm and stretching through your nice rotation through the back holding for a few seconds and then coming back up and threading through. And for this exercise you want to make sure hips are still staying over the knees. And depending on how much flexibility you've got through your spine, got a few options with um, once you thread the arm through so you can keep the arm straight for the arm that's on the ground or um, coming back up you can bend the elbow to get more of a stretch through excellent I'm going to repeat three more times other side. Excellent. So you can see that Claire's threading that arm through to get a nice stretch through her back. And depending on the mobility that you've got through your back as well, you might feel a stretch on the up phase with the arm and a stretch as you bring all the way through. Two, and one. And for our final movement we're going to do here, Claire's going to return to her neutral spine and her um, four point kneel position. And then she's going to lean back sitting her bottom over her heels and stretching her arms out in front and this is called a child's pose position so you can hold that for a few seconds and then returning back to the four point kneel position and you can either choose to do this as um, a prolonged, prolonged stretch or make it a bit more dynamic depending on how comfortable you find the movement to focus on your breathing with this position as well as it's a nice relaxation sort of stretch. Beautiful. 